Mike McCaffrey did some um, some cleaning up in the secondary market. Uh, you know, I, I finished that, I guess I'd say. Um, so you know, we're now at the point where venture is four or five percent of the overall portfolio, which represents about twenty to twenty-five percent of the private equity portfolio. Um, we are we are in the business of of making new venture commitments, <coughs> although you know cautiously and 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 from time to time. Um, so uh, you know, and, and and we continue to we continue to prune. I mean, we've been uh, where we've seen you know in, in our mind this is a world where terms should not be getting less LP friendly. You know, maybe staying the same, maybe staying the same, maybe getting more LP friendly, but not less LP friendly. So you know, we've we've abandoned a relationship or two where we felt like the terms were just heading in a direction that, that was something that we weren't willing to abide by and. We made too many decisions in the course of the late, in the course of 2000s, uh, you know, hooked on returns, where we'd say, you know, that's not really a term that's in our best interest, but God, the return, you know, it's a great manager and the returns look so good, and so we're going to kind of swallow and do it. And most of those, you know, most of that turned out to be a mistake. So at least temporarily, uh, we've got the strength of our convictions. And if we don't think it's in our best interest, we're not signing up. Uh, so, so we've, we've taken a harder line um, with respect to terms, uh, not being bullies, but but you know, asking for fairness. And and that's meant um, again continuing to walk away from a, a couple of, of, of relationships. So. Um, you know, we've been intrigued by the sort of the institutionalization of the super angel category, and uh, you know, it, it's a you know, in software and internet in particular, the, the real dollar cost of innovation and, and, and market testing is so much lower than it used to be that I, mean, I think that's why the super angel thing has has institutionalized in the way it has. You just don't need the five million dollar check to to make some progress and learn something important about your business opportunity. So we, we've, uh, it's hard to put a lot of money to work there, but we've we've uh, we've put some some money out in the super angel area. That's a new direction for us recently, um, and uh, you know, we've got a fairly robust uh, venture portfolio um, in, in Asia, where the effort is to. And what we're trying to do there is is diversified venture. We've never done anything in Israel much because, you know, if Nasdaq's up, I mean that that's that's sort of that's a Silicon Valley beachhead. There's no, you know, the, the manager there is not giving us diversification. So if if, if they're not compellingly better, why do it? you know you don't the, the the geographic diversification you get is spurious. Um, Whereas in, in Asia, there you know there's some uh, indigenous demand drivers that mean that you are actually getting diversification. So we built out that um, with again with the focus, hopefully on, on capturing uh, indigenous drivers of demand. Um, you know we we are we continue to be somewhat underrepresented in life sciences because it has seemed to be. Uh, sort of cycle in cycle out such a challenging um, way to create big outcomes and, and one way of thinking about venture is you know the five percent of the portfolio that we have in venture is the option that we have on all our pessimism about the world being wrong so um, and, and that and that that's a powerful thought because that means that's one of the reasons why no matter how negative we get someday, we're never going to be out because you know we like having we like having option bets uh, that, that give us gearing if we're we're wrong. So you know, that's a that's a way of thinking about venture in the portfolio context that that gives us um, conviction above and beyond our belief in the specific manager that we want to stay in the asset class. So um, that's kind of where we are, and uh, I guess now I'm happy to take questions.